Welcome to this channel. In this particular tutorial, we will design and simulate the transient analysis of the NOR gate using the minimum size MOSFET. Before going into this tutorial, I request you to like, share and subscribe to my channel below for more such videos. Now click on new schematic and click on the component section now in this particular design we require a 2 pmos transistor and 2 nmos transistor so select the nmos transistor with substrate and place this particular nmos transistor as shown in this particular tutorial now click escape again click on component and select the PMOS transistor with explicit substrate and place this particular PMOS transistor as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click escape. Now let us zoom out. Now we have to define an appropriate model for this particular NMOS and PMOS. Also let us define the voltage source before going further so place the voltage source v1 and v2 and v3 as shown in this particular tutorial now right click on v1 and change the value to vd right click on voltage source v2 define this as va where we consider this as A input and the next one as VB which is B input. Now click on ground and place this particular ground connection on all voltage source. Now click on label net and place the label net VB across the voltage source VB. Next we have to place the label net VDD across the voltage source VDD and then we have to place the label net VA across the voltage source VA. As shown in this particular tutorial right click on voltage source VDD and make it as 1 volt right click on voltage source VA and select the pulse define the initial value as 0 V on as 1 T delay as 6 nano T rise as 0 T fall as 0 T on as 3 nanosecond and T period as 10 nano right click on voltage source VB and select the pulse define the V initial as 0 V on as 1 T delay as 6 nano T rise as 0 T fall as 0 T on as 3 nano and T period as 10 nano and click OK now next once the all voltage source has been defined now click on wire and extend the wire across the PMOS click on wire connect the drain of PMOS to the source of M3 transistor and connect the drain of PMOS to the drain of NMOS next place the ground connection as shown in this particular tutorial connect the source of NMOS to the ground and the source of another NMOS to the ground. Now click on wire and extend this wire to the PMOS transistor which is to the gate of PMOS transistor and extend the second wire to the transistor number 3 of the PMOS which is the gate of PMOS. Extend this particular wire 
to the gate of NMOS transistor and from transistor number 4 connect the gate of NMOS which is the transistor number 2. Now connect the drain of NMOS 1 to the drain of PMOS and NMOS and extend this which would be the output for the NOR gate. Now place the label net as AB and place the label net as VA and we have to place the label net VB as shown in this particular tutorial. Now click on label net and define this label net as VDD and place this label net across the extended terminal and on the substrate of both the PMOS transistor and place the ground on both the substrate of NMOS transistor. Now right click on PMOS and we have to define the appropriate model. So define this as P underscore 50 nano and define the length as 50 nano and width as 1 micro. Right click on the second PMOS transistor define the model name as P underscore 50 nano define the length as 50 nano and define the width as 1 micro. Now you can see that in this particular model file which is n underscore 50 nano so the same model has to be defined in our schematic window so n underscore 50 nano define the length as 50 nano width as 500 nano and click ok right click on the transistor number one and define the model name as 50 under n underscore 50 nano and define the length as 50 nano and width as 500 nano and click ok now this particular schematic must be saved in a folder Now click on edit and click on spice derivative and we have to include this following statement that is dot include bsim4 underscore model dot text. This particular text file is very important because this particular schematic would call the bsim4 model in order to perform the transient analysis or the AC analysis. Next click on the spice analysis and define the stop time as 100 pico and 30 nano and click OK and place this particular syntax on the schematic window. Now we will place a external load capacitance and place the ground connection for this particular capacitance. Click on wire and connect this to the output of the capacitance. Define the load capacitance as 50 femto and save this. Now run this particular simulation and place the cursor on the input v, VA and click on add plot plane and place the cursor on input VB. Now click on add plot plane and place the cursor on the output of the NOR gate. Now you can see that for 
0 and 0 when a is 0 and b input is 0 the output is high and when the a is high and when b input is high the output is low thank you for watching this tutorial i hope this has helped your learning purpose I request you to like share and subscribe my channel below